Hello, I'm Harold Jones, Dean of the School of Health Professions at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Thanks for joining us for another discussion in our continuing monthly series where we interview experts in our school. These experts are leaders helping to shape the future of healthcare through tailoring innovative solutions to real world problems. In its leadership role, the school has been involved in international efforts around the world, ranging from Eastern Europe and Saudi Arabia to China. The school has a particularly long-standing involvement in China, dating back three decades. Recently, we have become even more engaged with China, especially in the area of physical therapy. Two of our faculty members from the Department of Physical Therapy, Scott Bickel and Jennifer Christie, have been very active in outreach efforts in China for the last several years. Scott and Jennifer, thanks for joining today. Glad to be here. Scott, I understand that last summer you traveled as part of an interdisciplinary team to China. Could you tell us a little bit about what you did there? Well, it was a great opportunity. We, we had an interdisciplinary team of physicians, nurses, therapists, and some students um, that traveled to China and we participated in an academic conference at a local hospital um, where we did various lectures on current state of practice in um, for our physician, it was surgery, for our nurses, their area of expertise, and then in rehabilitation, and specifically physical therapy. So we provided two days worth of lectures that also required some tours of the hospital. Um, we got to visit the different departments. Um, and we spent a good two, two and a half days there at the hospital. And then later on in the week, we um, went out to an even more rural area. We visited a, what would be comparable to a skilled nursing facility here in the States, we visited with them and we provided some instruction on rehabilitation techniques for, for specifically people with stroke because their facility had a large number of people who had suffered a stroke. And so we trained some community volunteers who wanted to help the, the, in this facility. So we gave them some basic um, um, things to be working on when they encountered these people with strokes. Tell me what you observed related to the quality of physical therapy and rehabilitation services uh, that you observed while you were uh, there in China during this trip. And where we worked was, it was very interesting. It was, people were encouraged to stay in bed for long periods of time, to rest. Um, uh, the exercise facility within the hospital um, really wasn't utilized very often. Um, when we asked to see it, um, they had to kind of um, ask around to find the key to uh, let us into the into the room, um, but really, you know, a lot of the focus there was more on um, making the patient just feel better, um, addressing some basic, um, I guess, some of the superficial needs as opposed to really helping to improve their function, which is something that's really emphasized here in the states. Uh, Jennifer. I understand that you began your work in China several years ago. Tell me a little bit about how you became involved in China, what the events were that led up to it, and what you did while you were there. Yes. Um, on May 14th of 2008, there was a devastating earthquake in Sichuan province, which is in the west part of China. And it claimed the lives of about 70,000 people to include about 15,000 children. So it was just awful. Um, it also caused a lot of people to have injuries that people in China were not used to treating, such as amputation, um, crushed bones, just injuries that, that they were not equipped to, to handle, especially in all of the rural areas, because this one province, it does have some large cities like Chengdu, but there are also a lot of rural areas um, that were affected and not a lot of healthcare professionals. So, you know, here at UAB, we have Howard Hauser, who was involved in Project Hope, and they were putting together a team to go over there and just do an assessment of their rehabilitation needs. And so the team included, they wanted a pediatric physical therapist, which is um, my area, and they wanted an emergency physician, and we had one from Boston, a neuropsychologist, who was also there, and also a, um, a prosthetist, orthotist who accompanied our team. So we all met over there in Shanghai, which is where Project Hope's uh, headquarters is located. And we flew to Chengdu, where we met with a lot of different hospital administrators and physicians just to find out 
what their situation, what they perceived their situation to be as far as rehabilitation needs. And we got to observe some amazing facilities in the larger cities. Um, there, we went to West China Second Hospital in Chengdu, which is the largest hospital in the world, and was able to meet with physicians there and just to, to find out some of the things they need. And one thing that we found with all of the meetings, we also met um, with administrators in rural areas, was that there were only about 420 trained rehab professionals in all of Sichuan province. And so that's definitely not enough to, to treat, especially the need after the earthquake. Um, so that was probably the biggest finding that the team had um, in the assessment trip. And, um, you know, we, we did travel to the larger cities. We went to Beijing and met with the Ministry of Health and got their perspective on what was going on. We went to Chengdu to several hospitals there. We went to a children's hospital in the West China um, Hospital. We also went to a little town called Dijon Wan City. I'm probably not saying that correctly, but, um, and we saw the Red Cross German, um, the, the, the Germans had set up a tent hospital for the people in the rural areas to go to because there was not a hospital large enough to house all the people who needed assistance. So they literally had tents set up all over um, and they were even doing surgeries in these tents. So it was just amazing how you know people pulled together, but the need is very great there. I know that after the report you continued to be involved in this project and that things have continued to occur at UAB related to that particular effort. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Yes. So one of the things that we perceived was that they needed um, to train more rehab professionals. And so one of the things that we suggested was that they potentially could send some um, professionals, so rehab doctors, over to UAB to observe our program in physical therapy, our doctor of physical therapy program, and how we train our physical therapists here, and also to bring some of what they do over there to us, you know, so it was sort of an exchange of information. Um, so that was in the, the rehab assessment, and they actually carried that out. The Ministry of Health sent over two physicians to spend an entire semester with us, and I mentored one of the physicians, Dr. Yang, and then Dr. Bickle mentored the other physician um, who came over. And so it was, it was amazing because they were able to attend the DPT classes. They were able to learn about our curriculum and how we train the therapists. They were able to observe in the hospitals just to see how we do things. And they were able to come up with ideas about how they could potentially set up programs um, in China to train people to potentially go out to the rural areas. Because um, you know, of those 420 professionals who are trained, they're trained on different levels. So some might be trained as physicians, some might be trained on the technician level. So not you know, as um, educated. And so I think what they're trying to do is to, to establish a model for educating rehab professionals in China. And so UAB was definitely instrumental in getting that started. Scott, I understand that you became involved in this project as well and continue to do some things after the physicians left UAB. Right, so after the physicians came and they trained at UAB, they went back to their hospital in Beijing. They were at the Beijing University Third Teaching Hospital. And from there was their base and they did some work in Sichuan province um, at, at the areas affected by the earthquake. And so when they returned, several months later they held a conference um, of different rehabilitation profes professionals from within China and then they invited um, a few international people, myself being one, who got to hear the updates, hear the current state of rehabilitation in China and they talked about the progress that they had made in that area, developing a lot of rehabilitation materials to um, continue training people um, to perform, um, to improve the level of rehabilitation for the patients in that area affected by the earthquake and then who are being affected with um, whatever new injuries have happened since then. And so my understanding is that they made significant progress with that project specifically in that area of Sichuan province. And um, as a country of rehabilitation professionals, they were working uh, to do even more and spread that to other areas of the country. What did the two of you find to be the most personally rewarding part of your experiences in China? And would you do it again if you had the opportunity? I guess the most rewarding thing for me was just to meet all of the different people. 
over there. They were all very warm and nice. It was just very rewarding to meet all the different professionals to find out even though we are very different, there's a lot of similarities. Yeah, absolutely. It was um, probably one of the highlights of my professional career is being able to do some of this work um, in China, but even working with the people here who, who visited and then also going over there. And just really, you know, when I think about the, this, the reasons why we probably got involved in this profession, is the same very reasons that they're doing it in China, because they want to help people, they want to um, help people achieve optimal function, and it really, it really um, was very um, gratifying to, to be able to, to do that. Why do you think it's important for the school and your department to be involved internationally, and especially in China? Specifically in terms of rehabilitation, if you think about um, the United States has 300 million people and approximately 200,000 um, physical therapy jobs. That doesn't count occupational therapy, speech therapy, other rehabilitation professionals. Um, if you look at China, um, they have 1.3 billion people, and the best estimate I could find is that they have approximately 30,000 rehabilitation professionals, and that includes everything, PT, OT, physicians, um, anyone who claims to be a rehabilitation professional. And so there's a great need, and there's a great need to grow those programs, and I think as a department and as a school who prides itself on doing very innovative things, um, really focusing on high levels of education, scholarship and service, um, providing some, um, some further education to people in, in other countries uh, to help grow their programs and grow the, uh, the number of professionals that are out helping others, um, I think is all a very good thing. Yeah, I agree with Scott and also think that it's just a great way for us to have the opportunity to go over there and to develop relationships with the Chinese people and also potentially in the future our students could go over there and it would be a great opportunity for them as well. Um, and you know vice versa, the, the Chinese professionals coming over here and maybe eventually sending students over here as well. So I just think it's a good um, way to develop relationships. Scott and Jennifer, thank you once again for sharing with us about your experiences in China. Thank you for having us. Anytime. To learn more about the UAB Department of Physical Therapy, go to its website at uab.edu slash PT. If you have any questions or comments about this topic, please feel free to contact us at uab.edu slash shp slash contact. And while you're on our website, be sure to learn more about our school. Once again, thank you for joining us. I'm Harold Jones, Dean of the UAB School of Health Professions, shaping the future of healthcare through tailoring innovative solutions to real-world problems. <laughs>